This is another example of how to use an ice table to complete an equilibrium problem. Again, we're using ice tables because we don't always know the equilibrium values of an equilibrium uh, setup, and therefore we need to use the ice table to figure out those values. In this case, uh, there's nothing that says that it's at equilibrium. It's saying it's allowed to e equilibrate, which is going to tell us we probably need to use an ice table. Uh, every time we start one of these equilibrium problems, start with an expression. So Kc is going to be equal to the products over the reactants. Our product happens to be the NO. But since there's the coefficient 2, it gets squared. The reactants are N2 to the first and O2 to the first. Then since we don't know equilibrium values, we're going to need to create an ice table. Ice goes along the left edge. And then our reactants and products are going to go on our ice table. Recall that reactants are dealt with slightly differently than products. So we have N2 as a reactant, copy of 1, 1 copy of O2. And again, those products are dealt with a little differently, 2NO. Always products are 0. We know that the difference will be a decrease, a decrease, and increase when we're talking about the change in concentrations. We should be able to find some equilibrium or some initial values in the text of the problem. If 0.375 molar nitrogen and 0.375 molar oxygen, so I can fill these as my initial values, into my ice table. They're allowed to equilibrate at 1500 K Kelvin, which is the concentration of NO. So we want to know what this concentration happens to be. So that's going to end up increasing by some amount X. We don't know what that number is yet. We know that these are going to decrease by some amount as well. We know that the change value that row is always going to happen at stoichiometric quantities. So if this is going to increase and these are going to decrease, these are going to increase and decrease at this ratio, a 1 to 1 to 2 ratio. So we'll do a subtract x, subtract x, plus a 2x. And then for our equilibrium, we're just going to bring uh, the initial with the change down into the equilibrium row. Now that we know the equilibrium values, we can substitute them into our equilibrium expression. We're going to put these three values, these three terms, into this expression right here. We also know Kc for this reaction happens to be 1.0 times 10 to the negative fifth. Now two things can happen here. When K is really small, like times 10 to the negative fourth, or even smaller, this time it's the negative fifth, so it's smaller, our change that we're going to have is going to be negligible. We could actually take this minus x and actually drop the minus because the amount that we're going to subtract away is very, very small. In this case, we can also do another little math trick once we set this thing up. I can take my 2x. I need that whole thing squared, so don't forget to put that in parentheses and square the whole thing. I have 0 0.375 minus x and 0 0.375 minus x. So because I have a square here, and because these are really 0.375 minus x squared, I could square root this whole side, which means that my 2 crosses off and one of these crosses off. But if I do that, I need to square root my left side as well. Again, I could also just eliminate my minus x because k is so small, the amount that we're going to take off of our uh, reactant is going to be so small, it's going to be negligible in terms of the overall change. With this other math trick, though, using the square root, 
I'm going to be left with the square root of 1 times 10 to the negative fifth is 3.1622 times 10 to the negative third. And that's going to be equal to 2x because the square dropped over 0.375 minus x. Since I'm trying to solve for x, I want to get rid of this fraction. I'll multiply both sides by the 0.375 minus x. And that's going to give me, once distributed, um, 1.1859 times 10 to the negative third minus 3.1622 times 10 to the negative third x, which is all going to be equal to 2x. So this part right here is when the point 375 minus x is multiplied, distributed with this. This distributes through both because I'm bringing this to the left side. Then I need to combine like terms. So I'm going to add the 3.1622 times 10 to the negative third to the 2x. And that's going to give me the result of 1.1859 times 10 to the negative third being equal to 2.00316 2.00316x. Then I can solve for my x value here, which is going to give me five point nine two times ten to the negative fourth. So x can then be substituted into my ice table, which means I need to do x times 2. So this times 2 is going to be my concentration of NO, which will be equal to a rounded value of 1.18 times 10 to the negative third. And since that's a concentration, that's the molarity is what the problem wants us to find.